So let's learn about sex determination in human beings and the importance of Y chromosome. So we know that in humans we contain 46 chromosomes. During fertilization, we get 23 from the father and 23 from the father. Uh, sorry, from the mother. So in 23, in the say for example here, this sperm cell will contain 23 and this egg cell will contain 23 chromosomes, right? When they merge, when they fertilize, we get 46. So that is why we call that as 23 pairs of chromosomes, right? So, so in this uh, uh, cell, say for example, this uh, sperm cell, it will contain 23 chromosomes. In 23 chromosomes, the 22 chromosomes are similar in shape and size and also contain homologous counterparts. Hence, we call them as autosomes. And uh, the one chromosome, the last 23rd chromosome is what we call sex chromosome. So, uh, so here this sperm cell contain X chromosome while this sperm cell contain Y chromosome, right? So we know since, since they are dissimilar, we call humans as heterogametic males, right? So this we all know, it already know. Fine. So you already know what are allosomes, right? So sex chromosomes are otherwise called allosomes. Now, now let's see how this uh, works, this uh, chromosomes, uh, how this male or uh, females are uh, produced during fertilization. So we already know that humans are heterogametic males because males produce dissimilar gametes while females produce similar gametes since we call that as homogametic. So as I told you earlier, in the sperm cells, 50% of them will uh, contain X chromosomes while the other 50% will contain Y chromosomes. In the female cell, in the female egg cells, you don't have to worry about it because everything is X chromosomes. Hence, we named that as homogametic. So, what happens? So, when this X chromosome, okay, when this X chromosome fertilize with this X chromosome, what do we get? XX, then finally it is female. So, as I told you, we have 46 chromosomes, uh, 40, uh, 44 or autosomes, and uh, one pair is sex chromosomes, right? So during meiosis, the process will take place, the separation will take place, right? 40, uh, 46 will be separated into 23 and 23. Okay, this is where the meiosis plays a significant role, which I already explained to you. If you want to learn again, you can go and watch the video for, from the first chapter. And likewise, egg cells also, during meiosis, the 46 will become into 23. So in the 23, 22 are autosomes, one is sex chromosomes. Since females are homogametic, all will contain X chromosomes. While males are heterogametic, one uh, half of them will be X and half of them will be Y. So when we just uh, merge, I mean when we fertilize this sperm cell bearing 22 autosomes with one X chromosomes, with this X cell bearing 22 autosomes, plus one X chromosome, what do we get? 22 plus 22, 44 autosomes and two X chromosomes. Okay, so totally how many? 44, 45 and 46. So since this sperm cell also bear is bearing X chromosome and this X cell is also bearing X chromosomes, X, X will result into female. Likewise, if this X chromosome again, uh, um, uh, if like so we can just make a triangle over here okay now if you take this uh, uh, sperm cell it is bearing one y chromosome so okay so and it, it is dissimilar right now so this a sperm cell if it goes and uh, fertilize with this x chromosome it will result into xy so one x chromosome from the mother and one y chromosome from the father finally we get males okay so 22 22 plus is equal to 44 and one x one x here and one y here hence we got 46 chromosomes 44 or autosomes 22 22 autosomes and two sex chromosomes one is x and one is y i hope you guys are clear now so that's all i wanted to say here now let's talk about the male
Now let's talk about the Y chromosome. Okay, so the Y chromosome and male development. So we know that. So here we have two organisms. One is female and one is male. So in two organisms, you can say they contain pair of chromosomes, right? So here you can see it is a pair of chromosome, one from the mother and one from the father. And in this pair of chromosome, this chromosome also will contain same type of gene and this chromosome also will contain same type of gene on the same locus, right? So they might contain different version of the genes. Those are called alleles, right? While so hence we uh, so you already know this. Now let's talk about female. Female since both contain same type of X chromosomes, they will contain same homologous counterparts, which means same type of genes will be presenting both chromosomes which has been inherited from the mother as well as from the father whereas in the male you have one x chromosome and one y chromosome in the x chromosome as well as in the y chromosome so let's look at this picture here now so in the x chromosome this is the x chromosome which is from the mother egg and this y chromosome from the father gamete cell so this x chromosome will contain homologous counterparts so this y chromosome is there right so it will contain same homologous counterparts in the y y chromosome also what do i mean by counterpart so in same gene in iruko okay wow. so what uh, five at five percentage kumato same type of gene excellent uh, same type of gene pathing na y liyo iruko okay wow. So what that is what we call pseudo autosomal region. Otherwise, we can shortly call that as PAR. Okay. So, so do, this happens during meiosis. Okay, during uh, meiosis. Fine. Now, so the remaining region, right? The remaining region is what we call non-combining region of the Y. So, uh, like you can see, in Gerkra genes, Patigna, you cannot find it here. So yeah, that is why we call that as N or Y, which means it is not combining with the X chromosome. Ingerkra genes wherever go, ingerkra genes wherever go. Okay, well, that is what we call N or Y. Fine. Again, this N or Y, right? Non-combining region of the Y, which means it's not combining with the X chromosomes. Okay. So this is where you get. Uh, 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 sex linked uh, inheritance sex linked uh, uh, diseases with which we will be seeing it later tomorrow in our other video fine so remember so in male y chromosome lapatana one from the mother x chromosome one from the father y chromosome so in the x chromosome la irukra namalukku usually theriyillaya so rendu pair irukumbodhu one from the father and mother irukumbodhu inga irukra same type of gene da Mother kid and the uh, father kid and the inherit funnel the same type of gene. Dairko. So, in the picture, which number I already told you that. But in the case of Y chromosome, so only 5 percentage of the uh, uh, Y chromosome has similar counterparts with the X chromosome. So, in the region, in the region, in the region, 5 percentage of the X chromosome, same genes. So, other than a pseudo autosomal region. This happened during meiosis. Okay, while the other region, right, remaining 95 percentage of the region, will not contain same type of genes which the X chromosome has. So, other than minus or non-combining region. In the non-combining region, again, we can uh, differentiate into functional genes as well as non-functional genes. The functional genes are called euchromatic region. The non-functional region are called heterochromatic region. So in the functional region, right, the euchromatic region is where we have sex determining region. See, so you see, for example, in Gerkra, it is patina PAR, which means what? Pseudo autosomal, what? Pseudo autosomal region which means in the region by in the render region pathana the five percentage on the x chromosome layer the same genes are the remaining 95 percentage on the combine aga the x chromosome layer the same genes in your car other than a non-combining region of the x uh, y chromosome so, yeah 
So in the in the region lab again we have functional genes, genes that function and also genes that doesn't function. So other which is number we we can differentiate into euchromatic region and heterochromatic region. In the euchromatic region you have a a gene that is also called sex determining region of Y. Okay, in short we can say that as S or Y. Okay. So this this S R Y only determines the male uh, 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 male uh, appearance to be shown during is the development of the male animal. Okay. So I hope you all understood. That's all from this uh, video. We'll see and learn the sex-linked inheritance in our other video. Take care, guys. Bye bye.